Good day. Hello, this is Teacher Justin, and I'm going to teach you how to um, use the developers of Microsoft Word. And I'm going to use the developer as a teacher. So if you're a teacher, how are you going to use um, Microsoft Word through online teaching? So ito yung gagawin natin na pag-fill up ng um, forms, uh, mag-fill up ng mga um, tests, mag-fill up ng ano, using online, using Microsoft Word. So hindi natin kailangan na i-print yung um, document. All you need to do is just open the file and then answer in code the data and then send it to the um, send it to kung kanina man. Diba? So ganun lang yung Microsoft Word developer. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to open our Microsoft Word. Ayan. So sa Microsoft Word, meron siyang hidden feature na um, tawag ay developer. So we can um, convert it to a application form na i-encode nyo na lang yung kailangan yung encode na data like your name, your section, the date, um, your grade, your score, your um, your answers, and so on and so forth. Para uh, sa Word file lang, hindi ka na mag-open na uh, Adobe or anything or you're, you're going to make your file paperless na, your, your document paperless na. So, ang gagawin lang natin is we're going to utilize developer. So, dito, we're going to access or unhide yung developer natin. So, dito sa toolbar natin, meron tayong na home, uh, insert, design, blah, blah, blah. So, dito, walang nakalagay dyan ng developer. So, kailangan ipalabas natin. So, in order for us to unhide it, punta tayo sa file. Tapos, punta tayo sa option. Ito, option. Then, may lalabas na word options. Now, dito sa word options, pupunta tayo dito sa customize ribbon. Customize ribbon, click natin. Double click, ice ribbon. So, lalabas dito yung customize ribbon keyboard shortcuts. Ayan. So, nandito yung mga uh, popular commands. Dito, yung mga main tabs. Tapos, baba lang natin ang konti. Nandito yung developer. So, we're going to click, well, check, developer. Then, we're going to press OK. Tapos, uh, abang lang tayo na magkakaroon dito na developer na ano, yan, na ribbon. Ayan. So, nandiyan na. So, makapansin nyo, nag-appear tong button na yan. So, to utilize this developer, first we need to make a template. Gawa mo na kayo ng template nyo, quiz, exam, kayo bahala. So, for example, gawa tayo ng application form. So, after this, we're going to um, use developer na. Okay? Kasi we want this to be an application form. Diba? Yung tipong they will just type their name, their section, date, birthday, contact number, civil status. So, we're going to use this developer toolbar. So, dito, ayan. Okay, ito, yung rich tech context, ayan. If we place it, okay, dito sila magta-type ng mga, um, dito sila mag-insert ng picture, ng mga words, they, they can use enter. Ito, dito, ayan. Yung plain text, for one liner lang yan. Isang diretso lang yan. Hindi, sila, hindi kayo pwedeng mag-click or gumamit ng enter. Tapos, dito, yan, dito, you're going to allow your user, kung sino man yung sasendan nyo, ng picture. Ito naman. Tapos, dito naman, checkbox. Ayan, if you want to have um, checkbox. Yan, nag tayo dito para ma-utilize natin. Ayan, checkbox. Yan, yung mga i-click lang ninyo, tapos magkakaroon na kayo ng um, checkbox. Ayan, ito yung, if you're going to choose, ayan to yung date, and so on and so forth. So, we're going to utilize some of this later. Tapos, later on, I'm going to also teach you how to restrict your um, file. Yung tipong hindi nyo na magagalaw. Okay? Hindi nyo, uh, hindi nila ma-edit yung mga hindi ta dapat i-edit. Yung ang gagawin lang nila is they will type what they have to type. Diba? So, first, Ito, dito tayo sa name. Since yung name natin, pwedeng pang one-liner lang yan, we can just use this um, plain text. Pero if you want to use um, rich text, straight text, wala namang problema yan. So first, we must click design mode. Kasi para makita nyo kung ano yung mangyayari at ano lang yung pwedeng i-edit ng user. Okay, so first, we're going to have um, 
Ayan. Okay. So, kinlik ko yung rich text. So, dapat, ayan. So, dito, ito yung type nila. So, you can click or tap here to enter your text. Or to, palitan natin, edit natin, enter your name. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. Tapos, if you want to make it um to identify, to give a title for it, ito, so, lagay natin, full name. Ayan. Okay. Tapos, if you want to add color, okay, so, for me, if I want to use um black or um, gray muna for the one inside, okay, para pag-type sila black agad, okay. Then, next, ayan, okay na. Okay, so, full name, ayan, yun yung lala. Okay. Now, if you want to see kung ano itsura niya, nang, hindi naka-design mode, ito yung itsura niya. Okay, so, when, when people will check or will receive this application form, makita nila to. Okay. They will not type here, but instead they will type here. Click muna and type, type your name. So, for example, Leo Labadon. Okay. That's, that's it. Diba? Tapos, may nakalagay na tag na full name. Okay? So, yan. Tapos, pag tinanggal nila, if they want to change it, okay, ayan. Mamaya, okay. Ayan. Pabalik yan sa click. Uh, tap here. Okay? Click and tap here to enter your name. Ayan. Your full name. Ayan. Design mode ulit. If you want to add full name. Ayan. Dito sa section naman, ayan. If you want to um, use uh, the same thing, ito, for example, let's say plain ulit. Plain man. Dito hindi sila pwede mag uh, ang difference again, netong dalawa, dito, you can use enter, dito, hindi. Okay, so dito, we're going to add a property, we're going to have section. Ayan, okay, section. Okay, tapos, okay, tapos, yan. And click or tap here to enter your section. date naman, napakasimple lang, eto. Dito natin gagamitin yung date picker content control na button. So, click natin yan. Now, enter the date. Now, dito, ang masaya dito, okay, no need for you to edit this or maybe if you want, you can click the property and you can um, identify kung an arrangement na day, month, and year. Okay? So, pwede. May, may Sunday and so on and so forth. Ayan. So, pwede kayo mamili. Ayan hindi nyo naman din i-edit yan if you want. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Now, for here, ayan, if you're going to enter, ganito pa rin yung magiging tsura niya, walang mababago. Dito sa design mode, makikita nyo lang kung paano magiging, uh, ano yung i-edit ninyo. Okay? I mean, paano nyo ilalagay itong mga to? This one. Okay? Yan yung mga ilalagay. Now, for here, gender, if you want na i-check nila or at yung um, gender nila or anything, they will use this. Okay, so, we will click this. So, may lalabas dyan na box. Now, if you, an, ano yung itsura niya? Click nila yung box na yun. Okay, so, let's change this. Pwede natin palitan niya. Okay. Ayan, paano ba ang itsura ng gusto nyo? Ilagay if once na kinilik nila yung box na yun. So, for me, I want this. Ayan. Okay. Tapos, pag uncheck, ito yung itsura niya. Okay. Now, one thing na maganda sa developer, you can also copy and paste. And the property will also apply. Ayan. It will also apply. Now, ganun din dito. Ayan. Sa birthday. Ayan. Okay. So, dito. Okay. Try natin. Tanggalin natin yung design mode. If we click this, lalabas dapat yung check mark. Okay. Ayan. Okay. Now, you can use dif different um, symbols. Okay. Ayan. Now, sa mga nagtatanong, or sa mga magtatanong, kung hindi nila makita yung check na nasa loob ng box. Okay. 
Ayan. Okay, so, one thing na, ano, na-discover ko, okay, ayan, yung font dapat is windings. Ayan. Okay? Diyan nyo makikita yung mga um, symbols na hindi nyo ordinary nakikita. So, okay, close na natin yan. Okay, now let's remove this kasi yung dami ng box dyan. Okay, now proceed tayo sa birthday. So, we're going to, again, click this. Okay, yan. Sila na mamimili ng um, birthday nila. Tapos, next we, ayan, so, yan. next is contact number. Ayan, contact number, same lang din. It's either rich text or plain text. So, for me, plain text. Tapos, click, edit natin yung nasa loob. Click or tap here to enter your contact number. Ayan. Contact number. Again, take note, dapat nakaklik itong design mode. Ayan. Next, civil status. Ayan. You are going to use a different file. Kung marami kayong options, for example, options, 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 we're going to use, choose an item. Ayan. So, choose a civil, um, a civil status or choose your civil status. Okay, bala. Ayan. Now, dito, we're going to use or we're going to go to property. Now, after going to property, ayan, lagay natin dyan yung title, civil status. Ayan. For some, hindi na nila nilalagay kasi nandun na yung um, title dun sa mismo kilid. So, no need for you to type the title anymore. Suppose, we're going to add items. Okay? So, for example, ano ba yung mga na nasa civil status? Like, single, ayan, married, No problem. Ayan, widow. Ayan. And so on and so forth. So, ayan. So, single, married, widow. For example, yan lang yung nasa options natin. So, if you don't want to use the check box or ano, gusto nyo itong gamitin, ayan. Okay. So, lagay natin. Okay. Next, describe yourself. So, since this is going to be an essay or uh, kumaraming graphs, we're going to use pitch text. Kasi dito, okay, ayan. Enter. Click to enter text. Okay. So, lagay tayo dito ng property title. Ayan. So, okay. Then, after that, ayan. Describe yourself. Now, ayan. If you're wondering, ayan. Anong magiging isura niya? Ito yung magiging So, okay, so, ito, ito lang yung pwede nilang i-click, pwede nilang i-type, okay, and so on and so forth. Pero hindi pa yan, kasi pwede pa natin itong i-edit eh. So, ayan. So, what if we want our student not to type here or anywhere, i-restrict natin yung user na mag-type anywhere or i-edit yung buong format or yung layout. So, what we're going to do is to restrict editing. Okay? We are going to use restrict editing. So, click natin yan. Okay? Ayan. Pag kinlik natin yan, may lalabas dito sa gilid. O, oh, double click ko. Oh. Ayan. Editing restriction. Allow only this type of editing in the document. So, change no changes. Pag no changes yung ginawa nyo, wala silang uh, mababago. Even yung mga nilagay natin sa developer. So, kailangan natin uh, ilagay filling in forms. Laging filling in forms tayo pa para ma-edit nila tong mga pinaglalagay natin dyan sa uh, de using developer. Okay, then we're going to click yes and force protection. Okay, ayan. Tapos may lalabas dito if you want to have a password. So, if you want, pwede kayo maglagay dyan. For example, okay, dalawang beses niyang ilalagay. Pwede naman din, wala. Optional siya actually. So, kung wala, okay, click OK. And maka-restrict na siya. Hindi na tayo pwede mag-edit dito. Ayan, di ba? So, hindi na tayo pwede, hindi mo na pwede i-select to, i-highlight to, and so on and so forth. Ito lang yung pwede natin i-type. Ayan, pwede, dyan lang tayo pwede mag-type. Please remove this. X nyo na yan kasi 
if nandyan yan, okay, pwede nyo i-click lang yan na stop protection and pwede na ulit natin i-edit. Okay, so, if you want to secure it, pagyan natin ng password. Okay, again, if you, if you want to have a very secure um, document, okay, ayan, so, click close and let's try. Okay, so for example, type natin, ayan, okay, ayan, that's not my full name, pero sige, okay, section, let's say, um, grade 9, 9, room 2, ayan, for example, ayan, tapos we're going to click the day to day, ano, for, so this is, um, May 3, ayan, 2020, Ayan. Okay. So, mail. Okay. So, syempre, hindi ko yan kiklik. Okay. Birthday. Ayan. So, let's say, uh, my birthday is For example, ayan, July 12, 2011. Okay. Ayan, next. Now, contact number. So, for example, 641111. Okay. Hindi po yan contact number ko. Okay. Civil status. Ayan. So, dito, click natin po. Par na yan. Okay. Pag-click natin yan, lalabas, single, married, widow. Ayan. So, lagay natin single. Ayan. Next, describe yourself. So, tayo. Ayan. Okay, tapos, set, edit tayo mag. Okay, so ganyan. Ganyan lang kadali ang gumamit ng um, developer sa, ay, sa word file. Tapos, ayan. Okay, pwede naman natin siyang i-edit. Okay, ayan. Diba? Ganyan lang, kasimple. Okay? That's it po, mga teacher. So, if you have any questions, ayan, concerns, or... Um, clarification, don't um, hesitate to type in your questions, ayan, comment nyo down below, and hit like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this, ayan, and don't worry sa mga students na um, gusto ng, edu um, ng math content, ayan, I will also give math content in the future pag nagsimula na yung klase. I will, st I'm still actually practicing kung ano yung mga pwedeng gawin during online, um, online class or blended learning ito yung sinatawag nilang blended learning so I'm actually studying a lot of applications and I'm also going to share more um, files, share more um, apps that I can that you can utilize teachers if you want in the future Yan, ito, since this is our new normal ito yung kailangan natin i- um, Ito yung kailangan nating gawin. We, do, we don't have anything to do. We do not want to stop learning, di ba? Ayan. So, all we need to do is for us to um, try new things. Ayan. And again, like I said, hit like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. Ayan. And follow me in my social media app. Okay, and that's for my video. For my very first video. And I hope natutunan nyo or nat natuto kayo and See you in my next video. Thank you. Oh, leave it was. What up?